Hey all, just woke up Cappy, that's why my hair is all like this. <clears throat> Although the GF did give me a haircut, looks a hell of a lot nicer than what I had before. Um, this is a, a quick note to any aspiring author out there um, who wants to, I don't even know if we necessarily want to make it big as authors, we would just like to publish our works and have people enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> and that is uh, to explain to you why you should never go to one of these publishing houses. You should not be trying to find a publisher. Don't go to these East Coast, New York, London, faggoty fucks. Screw them, okay? Their time is over, and the reason their time is over is the way that books are sold, and it's simply Amazon. Amazon has completely changed it. Most books are bought on Amazon, they're bought online, and uh, the publishing, and the old, that, that model is gone, it's done, it's over with. This is why Borders went out of business. This is why Barnes & Noble is going to go out of business pretty soon. Nobody buys physical books at a bookstore anymore. You go online and you buy it. And another revolutionizing technology uh, that has brought this about is aside from buying books online is that Amazon, through their subsidiary CreateSpace, uh, they have the technology now that uh, there's a machine that will print one book. That's it. You know, you, when you click buy, this is, you don't know this, but this is what happens. When you click buy on Amazon, that order goes directly to a machine at CreateSpace, which prints off, binds and copies one book for you. Okay. In the olden days, yeah, to make the cost lower, you had to set up the printing press and you had to make like 10,000 copies of this particular book and set up the machine. Today's digital technology with PDFs and all that, the machine exists now that just makes one copy. And that, that copy is then immediately put into a UPS or FedEx uh, package and it's mailed to wherever it is that you want it mailed to or to yourself or sent to a friend or whatever, uh, whatever you want. So... I, I still, even to this day, I, and this is what prompted this this video, is I have a colleague who is an author, and she is writing, she's already written several books there, and she's like, well, I gotta, I gotta send a query. I have to send a, a, an application to this publisher, so maybe they'll take my book. No, no, no. Fuck them. These guys do do you know how many times Dr. Seuss was shot down? The gal who did Harry Potter was shot down. Stephen King was shot down. You look at all of these great authors that were shot down by these New York publishing houses. Uh, it shows you, uh, and especially with the, the tripe that they published because their niece or their nephew or some fucking nepotistic cocksucker wrote a book and like, well, you're my son, so I'll just give you a fucking uh, contract. No, you're going to waste your time. And I'm not joking. You can write three books, three real books, and the amount of time you're going to spend trying to sell your book to a publisher than if you just took that time and instead wrote new books. And with the internet, you don't need these guys anymore. You're not going to become fucking Bill O'Reilly, where every time he writes uh, The Killing of Lincoln or The Killing of, of, of Bob Jones or whoever, he's got a connection, he's connected, you're not him. All right? Is your name, is your name uh, what was it, Bill O'Reilly, not Bob O'Reilly, Bill O'Reilly. What's his name? Let's be, let's be precise. Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, Bill O'Reilly. Okay. Dude's got a show. Dude has connection. Dude lives on the East Coast. He's never been this side of Ohio. He doesn't even know that there's other states on this side. Um, that's how he get, he, he's connected. You're not connected. All right. If you're a real author, if you have, not to say Bill isn't, hell, who even knows if he's even writing his own damn books or somebody else wrote it for him. If you're a real aspiring author, don't even bother with the publishing houses. You're going to have much more profit. You're going to save much more time writing your own book, self-publishing through Amazon, and then going through different websites, advertising on the internet, advertising on blog, blogs, podcasts, YouTube channels, of similarly interested or, or, or themed websites. Like, you know, I do economics, so I advertise on economic sites. Uh, I also do a lot of uh, Manosphere self-help for men type things, so obviously I advertise on Return of Kings. These sites, the internet has so obsolete it the old school, outdated business model of books that you should never ever, it's great. You could become an author now. You can't. You could just write your book, you put it up on CreateSpace, you do it on Kindle, you upload the PDF file. It's a very simple process. They handhold you through it, and you don't need anybody's permission. 
You don't need some cocksucking motherfucking Ivy League graduate. I lived off my mother's fucking rich titty. I'm a fucking Cargill. I'm a fucking Wyzettian. I'm a fucking Dayton. Cocksucking motherfucking piece of East Coast shit. You can, it's, it's a true meritocracy uh, that publishing is now today. And with the internet, not only do you have the publishing technology, you also have the marketing technology. You can go to different websites, run ads, contact these bloggers, contact these authors, contact these podcasters directly. Say, I'd like to you know, pay you 50 bucks a month, whatever it is, for you to advertise my book, and they'll do it. They'll do it. And you'll make money. You'll make profit. The dirty little truth is, and I have to look up the stats again, but I think it's like only 15% of the traditionally published books actually make a profit like these publishing houses and they rely on the blockbusters like you know the O'Reilly's and, and the fucking Harry Potter books and the Fifty Shades of Grace those make them all publish uh, or uh, profitable so like they, they kind of there's a gamble like okay we're going to publish these hundred books and only 15 of them are actually going to be profitable but they'll be so profitable they, they compensate for the remaining 85 with well, 85% of your books are not profitable especially with the backing of a fucking East Coast dipshit cocksucking blue blood uh, choosing, which is not surprising. I'm, I, it doesn't surprise me at all that you're batting 150 uh, when, you know, Thaddeus McThaddeus III <laughs> with his fucking masters in children's literature uh, decides who's going to get published and not over at these publishing houses. Dude, don't even fuck around with that nepotistic, cronyistic, corrupted political bullshit system. Get your ass straight to Amazon, go straight to createspace.com. Publish your book directly, sell it directly to them. This is just like musicians. Musicians don't have to deal with the fucking record labels anymore. They don't have to deal with Capitol Records. Fuck Capitol Records. Just go write your book. Live your fucking dream. Write it and publish it. And you know what? So what? People don't buy it. At least you got published. At least it's there. And there's no better. Here, I'll show you. Hang on. Give me a second. <clears throat> this is my latest book. Not to make it sound like I'm just like a book whore, but I do write. I'm, I'm quite prolific. I'm, uh, not to brag, but it's true. This is, you know what? This is just my latest one. This came in the mail, and it's so good to like actually get your like. And, and it's a small book, admittedly. This is almost. It originally was supposed to be just a, um, a, um, an essay. I was going to write short essays, but this turned out to be a little bit more. But now it's small and all that. But do you know how fucking good it feels to have this book in your fucking hand? Like, this is your finished fucking piece of work. Like, <clears throat> and this is it. This is forever. You're go I'm going to die. I'm going to die, but this book will go on forever. That's fucking cool. You know, like, here's a fucking piece of work. Now, maybe, of course, I'm not going to sell as much as Bill O'Reilly. I'm not going to sell as much as, um, what's her name? Laura Ingram? Is that the one? Cute blonde girl? Hey, I have titties. Buy my book. Okay. I'm a desperate, horny Republican male. I'll buy whatever you sell. I'm not fucking Sean Hannity. But ain't no fucking feeling ever going to replace it when you got your own motherfucking book in your own goddamn hand. And you're like, look at this son of a bitch. Look at this, huh? It's me. This is me right here. And that's exactly why you should publish your own book. So don't, seriously, guys, don't let the fact you don't have a publisher, don't let the fact your parents and everybody else is going to, like, fucking lecture you. Your friends go, oh, you can't write it, but you're not going to do it. Please. From, from a successful self-published author, dude, write your fucking book. Because that's timeless, all right? And you are not timeless. You are finite. You will end. And you will end, unfortunately, way too quickly. But this shit will go on forever. And you actually leave your mark. You leave a legacy. And, uh, man, the technology did not exist like 10 years ago. Well, 10 years ago it did exist. But 15 years ago, we didn't have this. All of humanity, think about uh, what genius, what insight, what brilliance could have been written if people have that technology today, and now you can't, you can actually get your own fucking book. You can write it down. And so what if it only sells like a couple copies? It, did you want to write it? Did you want to leave a mark on society? Well, then go write your fucking book and go to createspace.com. I'm not even, they don't pay me. I'm just saying, you're not going to fight. This is one of those rare opportunities. Mean, there's other self-publishing uh, services out there. But yeah, just, you want to write a book? You want to be an author? Then go be one and fuck what society says. And then just simply sell yourself directly to the marketplace. Sell yourself directly to the people. And if you write good, people will buy it. They will. Now, <clears throat> there, of course, is, is marketing and advertising things. But aside from the money, please, if you're an author, if you're an aspiring author, if you want to write a book, 
Nothing is stopping you now. Absolutely nothing. And when you get this fucking thing in your goddamn hands, it's like, well, I don't know. Plus, I won't lie to you. I, okay, here's a little bit of vanity. I'll give you a little bit of vanity. People ask, what do you do? And, um, it, it's complicated, but I, 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 the simplest thing is to say I'm an author. And when you say you're an author, uh, unless you're particularly young, they think, like, yeah, well, fuck you, kid. But now that I'm old and I got gray hair coming in my beard, people actually listen to me. Uh, they're like, oh, you're an author. It's kind of like you just said, yes, I'm a senator, or I'm a surgeon, or I'm a pilot. They're like, ooh. It's like, yeah, man. Me, 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 me. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I write words onto paper, and it gets published, and people read it. And they're like, it's just, it's, it's a cute little thing. I'll just tell you that there's a little bit of a, a little bit of an ego bump that comes with it. Anyway, I'm fucking dragging on here. Please just go write your fucking books. That's all I'm saying. And fuck the publishing houses. It's an outdated system. It's an, it's an obsolete model. You don't need them. And God bless it, because those cocksucking motherfucking pieces of motherfucking shit. I wasn't even shot that by a man. They get shot down. And they say, well, do you have a vendetta against them? No. They're just dickheads. They're, they're they, I mean, <laughs> you. You hate the bankers, right? You hate the fucking Goldman Sachses, the people that got bailed out. All right, that's the exact same cocksucking motherfucking pieces of shit, except instead of selling trashy uh, mortgage-backed securities, they're selling trashy books is what they're doing. And um, I just like seeing their industry going down. I, I really like, like to see that. It's really fucking cool to see bad people have to get real jobs. It's very interesting, though. Anyway, I think I'm going to go get some coffee and wake up a little bit. Uh, but I just want to give all of you guys a boost. Please, go write your own fucking book. Seriously, there's nothing stopping you. Uh, ain't no reason you can't uh, have this particular American dream realized in your own life. Toodles.